Is that Chris? Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is. It's your boy Jay here, man. I'm back here with another video, y'all. And today, man, we got a crazy and a wild video to talk about. Now, it seems like in today's classroom, y'all, we got your boy Charleston White back on the roster and again. And it seems like bro is under a lot of heat. And a lot of people ain't feeling him at the old live of him before he really blew up surface. And a lot of people are like looking at him sideways. Now, before we get into this crazy video, y'all know my little routine. Just hit that like button and smash that notification bell so that you know you can be notified anytime I drop a video. And also, I can just keep y'all updated on this whole situation in general, bro. Y'all got me? Alright. Bet. Now, also, let's get into today's paid promoted song, man. Went to sleep on Monday just to wake up on Sunday. What you do in one week? I might do in one day. When never like try to get you, let me just go and make lemonade. Stay down till you come up. Know the squad for the winter day. Don't get it twisted. Ain't shit sweet. Men and made a calypso. Now, if you enjoyed the song, all you gotta do, you know what I'm saying, either type it up or click that link in my description below. Also, pin in the comment section below and go tell them I sent y'all. And hey, if you need your song promo, just DM me on my ig now as i said y'all we got the one and only man charleston white on the roster and a lot of people aren't feeling the clip that pretty much surfaced now if y'all don't know who charleston white is he's the uh i think he's like a fort worth dallas texas um community activist if i'm not mistaken he pretty much go viral for all his shenanigans i say this all the time people say he be speaking facts and for the most part he do but he like contradicts himself a lot of times and he's pretty funny and you know uh he pretty much the guy that's known for saying fdm Mets, um f nipsey hustle king von and people feel like he'd be speaking the truth against rappers now pretty much he been buzzing after he got into it with uh ti you know he been getting into a lot of people and he been like blowing up on social media but a lot of people aren't feeling him after this clip released As y'all seen, man, yeah, pretty much it's an old clip of him, like, before he blew up, and pretty much he was saying some wild things, saying that he pretty much, you know what, white women, uh, pretty much, you know what, women, and saying that he don't think nothing wrong with a woman getting, you know what, saying that a woman, ain't nothing wrong with a woman getting hit, and just talking crazy. Now, this is why I say, um, I don't really, like, necessarily follow him. A lot of people find him funny. For sometimes he do, but for the most part, like I said, I'm not a fan of him. Y'all call me what y'all want. But the reason why I feel like I said it is because, like, things like this, like, granted, he speaks the truth a lot. And I don't know, like, maybe people just got the bad part, but I'm pretty sure this is my second time hearing it. Um, it's starting to look ugly. And I feel like, honestly, bro, like, this is why I don't follow because for somebody can speak the truth, but then it's always, like, little side things you got to watch out for. And the stuff like this is just like, bro, you contradicting yourself. You feel what I'm saying? And honestly, I knew he was wild when I seen this clip. Don't give a f that he did. Don't give a f about Kobe that he did. Didn't nobody tell him to fly that plane? No way. Kobe was flying under the influence of ego and killed every goddamn body. I don't feel sorry for no like that dumb ass nigga. You should have stayed on the ground. Man, if you couldn't see nothing, the visibility, you couldn't see nothing. Them people told Kobe, Kobe, don't fly, please. Kobe, don't fly. Kobe, please don't fly. And he killed every goddamn body. That's why them people suing him. Now the family suing Kobe and his family them and them other people. They don't just don't want to tell us that because they love y'all. They want y'all to love your idols. Now, like I said, um, people were going off on him. And the clip looked old because he had dreads. And now I think he got a low cut. And I do feel like, you know, everybody is deserving of forgiveness. But stuff like this is just 
not funny, bro. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know if he was trolling. I'm not going to say, oh, he just did it because I feel like everything he do is a troll. He put on his front that he just so real this and that, man. But like, bro, we all know what's going on, bro. It's all for the social media click, the views, you know, the, 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 oh, like the start of minute. And we all know you get money behind this, bro. But like, this is not funny. You know what I'm saying? Do, knowing that a lot of people actually go through this. And I just feel like, bro, you know, that shit is corny. You feel what I'm saying? But regardless, um, a lot of people weren't feeling this clip all over Twitter and people are trying to quote unquote cancel him. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, you can't cancel nobody in this world. I don't know where that come from, cancel coaching this and that. Nobody can cancel nobody. And I feel like that is stupid, bro. But he definitely need to be checked about this and clear that up, bro. Cause that ain't cool. You feel what I'm saying? But I don't want to talk y'all head off. Y'all give me y'all thoughts and opinions. And y'all let me know. Do y'all feel like people are reaching? Do y'all feel like bro went too far? Do y'all feel like he got a point? Or what? Y'all let me know what y'all think. It's your boy Lucas J. Thank God for another day, man. Y'all be safe. I love y'all so much, man. God loves y'all more, bro. And yeah, bro. I'm out.